Climatic conditions are not the same for everyone. Let's find out why by examining how latitude, altitude, and surface features determine climatic conditions. Let's start off with latitude. Latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator. Locations at lower latitude, such as Africa, will receive more direct and intense sunlight. On the other hand, areas like Antarctica, who have higher latitudes, which means they will not get much direct sunlight that is very intense. In areas closer to the poles with higher latitudes, the sunlight has a larger area of atmosphere to pass through which will make the sunlight less intense than places with lower latitudes. Next, let's move on to altitude. Altitude is the height of a point in relation to sea level and ground level. For every 1,000 foot rise in altitude, there is a 4 degree Fahrenheit drop in temperature. As your altitude increases, the air starts to get colder. This is because of the decreasing air pressure as you gain altitude. As you are gaining altitude, the air molecules are becoming slower and more spread out. Collisions between these molecules produce heat energy. This means the higher up you get, the less likely the molecules are to collide, which results into the air becoming cooler. Let's look at some of the effects of surface features on the climate. Some surface features are mountain ranges, subduction trenches, tectonic plates, mid-ocean ridges, and as well as surface currents. Ocean surface currents are usually driven by wind. There are two types of ocean surface currents, which are horizontal and vertical movements. Horizontal surface currents include rip currents, longshore currents, and tidal currents. Vertical surface currents bring cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface while pushing warmer, less dense water downward forming vertical waves. The global conveyor belt uses these two types of currents to move water across the globe in a 1,000 year cycle. As a result, there are two processes that go on simultaneously which are when warm surface currents carrying less dense water away from the equator and toward the poles, and when cold ocean currents carry deep, denser water away from the poles and toward the equator. This plays a key role in distributing heat energy, which regulates weather and climate. Another surface feature that can affect climatic conditions is the rain shadow effect. The rain shadow effect starts off with prevailing winds on the windward side of the mountain. The wind helps rain raise warm, moist air up the mountain that gets denser as it moves up. As it reaches the top of the mountain, clouds are formed. Then, precipitation starts to fall as either rain or snow. Once the air reaches over the mountain and onto the other side, it becomes warmer and dry and creates the rain shadow, which is on the leeward side of the mountain. Whether you like hot, cold, or in-between temperature, you can use these factors to determine where you want to be.